Do you hear that? Maybe that'll come up on screen. I have no idea. Today I want to talk about magical names and specifically how I picked mine. If you are new to Coffee and Cauldrons, this is where I drink lovely coffee from random cups and basically go into the more personal parts of my craft and share them with you. What is that noise? My goodness. Maybe you can close the window. Much better, much better. Anyway, let's talk about magical names and specifically how I picked mine-ish. So I've said before in other videos that I don't really feel the much need to have a quote-unquote magical name as in a sense of I don't bring that name with me into the circle. I don't, if I even cast circle, I don't really like refer to myself as that as much. I'm not reaching out for a magical name to redefine or to put me into a new magical mindset or space, really. Um, I see the use for them with other people's craft, but for me that didn't really vibe all that well. But at the same time, I did want a bit of, I don't know, I didn't want to be known as much um, right in the beginning of my craft. I wasn't entirely sure if I wanted to, you know, have a YouTube channel that was of talking about witchcraft and had my name associated with it. So when did a random Google search of me and found my other writings and my other stuff, would they find also then the witchcraft channel? And I wasn't sure if I wanted that out yet. I was still very much kind of in the broom closet, kind of not, not knowing where I land on it. And that's still pretty much my position. If someone finds all of this stuff, then great. If someone doesn't, then in, that's even, I guess, better or not. I'm not really sure. But overall, I did decide if you were at the very beginning of this channel, then you know that originally this was Samhain. That was simply because if you spell it out within English, then Samhain sounds like S-A-M-H-A-I-N. And I thought I was being witty because my name is Sam and Sam goes in the beginning of Samhain. <laughs> well, you very quickly look at other channels that are also named Samhain and you see creepy clown stuff and all, but it, you know, it, it didn't work for me at all. And even though I really loved Halloween, it was always like a big thing for me. Some call it All Saints Day or the Day of the Dead. Like that time of year is always like, oh yes, all the yes. It still felt like I wasn't being creative enough. And so I thought, well, what if I'm not doing a name for the channel and witchcraft and all that? Like, what if I wasn't gonna be, ba what, like, what is this all about? What is the whole reason I am making this channel? And what could go, if I had to name my journey, what would it be? That's how I came up with Shadow Harvest because all of this stuff, the occult, um, witchcraft, paganism, spirituality, and all of that is me going into the things that I see as shadowy, that like intrigue me, that are mysteries that I don't know, and I'm unveiling them for myself. I am looking into the shadows of myself. I am looking into the shadows of things that just drive me kind of crazy of how the universe works and all of that stuff. And as I was going through different names, I was like putting different stuff together, and I loved the shadows. I love the dark. I love these things that some might consider to be evil or wrong or anything else. I love unveiling and peeling back the layers and seeing what is at that core. Is it something malicious or is it something maybe just miscategorized for a certain amount of time? And I love that, you know, people are so scared of shadows, but you need light to even cast a shadow. I, I love the idea of looking into them in, in depth and really seeing what's in there and harvesting them and like that whole idea of I'm not here just to read and explore. I'm also here to take things and to use things and hopefully use them to better my life, to look into other stuff and really find where things come together. And so Shadow Harvest seemed like a good name to pick for that. And that's eventually, it wasn't, I think I had like maybe Samhain for like a month or so on this channel and then eventually became Shadow Harvest. And I really like, you know, I love how people on YouTube still associate people by their names, um, by their channel name, because it's almost like I'm being associated with the name of my journey, as opposed to a name that works with me even magically. You know what I mean? My name is Sam. If anyone doesn't know that, um, you can call me Sam anytime. That works fine. Or you can call me Shadow. Cool, whatever. I don't really care what I am referred to as, but I like that my journey is named Shadow Harvest. And I kind of like being, in a sense, sometimes referred to as my journey now, where it's since I know it is the name of my journey, even if no one else knew that, for me it is that, I don't know, it feels like a more substance-filled uh, substance piece of myself. Like the idea that someone is looking into what I found when I came into witchcraft and they're looking into the different things that I associate well with it. And they're looking into how I got in here and have 
least poked around maybe found this video or found another video on my channel and saw more what I was about you know Sam doesn't hold that and I love the idea that names used to hold such meaning looking into the origins of your name and finding out what they mean and looking into different ways that from different cultures and how a different sound can mean something else different empowerments and what that meant and so picking a name felt like something for me that's where I was like yes I like the idea that I am choosing something that I am getting to name a piece of this even if it's not another name for myself so much because I do I like Sam it's not, I've never been extremely adverse to my name uh, Samantha never really vibed well Sammy definitely didn't but Sam was always just yeah that's me that's who I am but a name for the journey really works well I love that I love the idea that th I'm sh that's all I'm doing is harvesting shadows and looking into them peeling and work using what works and casting aside what doesn't and unveiling more and more and more of the mysteries of myself and of the universe and everything else so that's how I came up with my magical name uh, do you love magical names or did you pick one for yourself or are you kind of like mm, I don't know if I really vibe well with that leave all that down below uh, if you do have a magical name how did you come to yours and do you like the idea of uh, it being another name for yourself or are you more like me and like the idea that's a name for your journey all of that down below Anyway, I make new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I will see you guys next time.